Welcome back to another edition of Marco's Minute. I'm Marco D'Angelo, and each and every week I try to give you a handicapping tip to help you be a better handicapper. This week we're going to take a look at handicapping the final weeks of the NFL. Over the next two weeks, you're going to hear a phrase over and over again. This team's in a must-win situation. A couple things to remember. Just because a team's in a must-win situation doesn't mean they're going to win the game. Also remember that if everybody's saying this team's in a must-win situation, obviously you know it, so does Vegas. And Vegas is going to make you pay the price for that team. You're going to be laying a bigger spread whenever you want to bet a team in a must-win situation. A couple things I found over the years. Teams in must-win situations that control their own destiny have a tendency, more often than not, to play tight. A lot of times they'll play not to lose instead of playing to win. That's not a recipe that you want to have when you're laying extra points with a team because they're inflated because of that must-win situation. However, teams that are in a must-win but don't control their own destiny, a lot of times they go out and they take care of business because they don't control their own destiny. They know they have to win and then they got to hope somebody else loses. So there's not as big of a distraction. Just go out and do what you got to do and see how the cards fall. Something to consider when looking at when to lay the points and when not to with these teams in the must wins. If they're playing a team that is not a division rival and that team is out of the playoffs, there's less chance of that team showing up and giving a huge effort in the spoilers role. However, if they're playing a division rival who's out of the playoffs, they want nothing better than to spoil their rival's playoff hopes. So you'll see those teams a lot of times rise to the occasion. And one last angle I'll give you in the final weeks of the season. If you have two teams that are playing that are both out of the playoffs, nothing to play for, if you're playing totals, you're going to look to the overs or you're not going to play those games. Teams out of the playoffs, a lot of times these games become basically like exhibition games where there's no defense. There's no defensive intensity because what is there to play for? Most teams are capable of scoring offensively. It's the defense that dictates the tempo and what points are scored. If both teams are out of the playoffs, oftentimes you'll see a high scoring fun game just entertaining for the fans. I look to the overs in these type of games. Hope these tips help you in the final two weeks of the season when you're looking at these final games and trying to decide where the value's at. That's this week's Marco's Minute. I'll be back next week with another handicapping tip.